Okay, just gonna give some two cents on this whole Supreme Court thing with uh, Amy Coney and all this other stuff. Uh, it just shows just the anti-God cult that is social liberalism just getting way out of control. Now, I'm not a supporter of Donald Trump, but uh, the uh, socially liberal anti-God cult, the communist um, with socialist social liberals, basically, I think they want to just murder, murder their own babies. And um, I'm not saying that the Republican Party is pro-life, because obviously they'll profess to be pro-life, but when they actually have power, they basically do nothing to stop abor abortion. But the anti-God cult that is social liberalism, social leftism, want to murder, your own, want to murder their own babies at the expense of the taxpayers' money. I'm going to read to you from some uh, scripture. 2 Kings 21.16. Let me just make the words bigger so I can read it better. Moreover, Manasseh shed innocent blood very much till he had filled Jerusalem from one end to another, beside his sin, wherewith he made Judah to sin, in doing that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. So, abortion is obviously shedding innocent blood, because the baby is innocent. You know, and you say, well, it's, it's only a fetus. Okay, it's funny, because the same uh, social liberal atheists and feminists uh, here's a total hypocrisy. If a single-celled organism, because they'll say the baby's just a clump of cells and all this other stuff, if a single-celled organism was found on Mars, they would say, look, we found life. But somehow, if a multi-celled organism is in the womb, it's somehow not life. Okay. Uh, again, total hypocrisy from these, the social liberal anti-God cult. Um, so basically, a single-celled life on Mars basically qualifies it for life, means they found life, but a multi-celled uh, human being in the womb is not life. Okay, again, more example of just liberal, social liberal hypocrisy. But I'm going to show you this video of this, these dueling protests, um, basically protesting a nomination and everything. And it's just funny, these social liberals have to bring white supremacy into everything. Oh, they'll have a sign saying no white supremacy court. I mean, you know, why do they have to bring white supremacy into everything? It's like, they just act, these, these social liberals just act like white supremacy just all over the place and, you know, Ridiculous. Not to mention the fact that abortion was actually illegal in Nazi Germany. We'll, we'll just we'll we'll leave that fact out that abortion was actually illegal in Nazi Germany. Well, but it was illegal. For, well, well, I'll put it this way: abortion was illegal for basically German women, but for non-Germans, they could they actually were required to get an abortion. So we're we're just gonna leave that fact out because it doesn't fit in with our social leftist agenda. But uh, I'm gonna show you this video and just totally insane. Just these rebellious Jezebels who want to murder their own babies. And it's just ridiculous. Watch this. No confirmation of kill inauguration. No confirmation of kill inauguration. Confirmation of kill inauguration. No confirmation of kill inauguration. I mean, do you need more proof to show that liberalism is a, social liberalism is a baby murdering anti-God cult? I mean, ridiculous. But I'm going to read some more scripture. 2 Kings 24, 3, wait, 2 Kings, yeah, 24, my notes there. 2 Kings 24, chapter 3, and verse 4. Surely at the commandment of the Lord came this upon Judah to remove them out of his sight for the sins of Manasseh according to all that he did and also for the innocent blood that he shed for he had filled Jerusalem with innocent blood which the Lord would not pardon. When a nation starts to shed innocent blood which is what abortion is God's not going to pardon that. Isaiah chapter 59 verses 6 to 7 Isaiah 59 Verses 6 to 7. Good passage condemning these uh, social liberal feminists who want to murder their own baby. 6 to 7. Yeah, 
verse 6 to 7. It says, Their webs shall not become garnets, neither shall they cover, with, cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction are in their paths. Perfect description of the cult, the, the anti-God, anti-Christ cult that is social liberalism. Um, they shed innocent blood. Uh, what does the verse say? Uh, wasting and destruction are in their path. Their feet run to evil. You know, perfect description. Advancing the sodomite agenda, you know, transgender bathrooms, all this other social leftist insanity. And now, abortion. So, uh, I'll just end it off here. Basically, uh, no, I'm not a Trump supporter. Again, I mentioned that earlier. I'm not a Trump supporter. But uh, this is just, just insanity, how these, these feminists want to basically take your tax money. Basically, they'll scream my body. Here's, I'll give another example of their hypocrisy. They'll scream my body, my choice, as they say that vaccine should be mandatory. But I thought it's your body, your choice. Oh, no, it's your body, your choice when you want to kill babies. But if I want to refuse to have a vaccine inserted into my body, it's not my body and my choice anymore. Um, blatant hypocrisy from these, these cultic feminists, these, these liberalist feminists. So they'll scream my body, my choice, but then they take your tax money. Um, it's my tax money. And they'll say, well, it's none of your business. Okay, so if, if what, what you have an abortion, if your abortion is none of my business, why do you ha feel the need to broadcast it at the women's march? And why do you feel the need to take my tax money? I mean, it's my tax money. I want to know where it's going. So just ridiculous. It's like when the sodomites say, well, my sex life is not your business. Then why are you broadcasting it at your pride marches? You know, why, why are you uh, filling your, propaganda, your sodomite propaganda on TV all the time? It's just, it just stupid, foolish nonsense from the anti-God cult that is liberalism. Social liberalism, to be specific. Because there are some aspects of liberalism that are good, but social liberalism is just anti-Christ. So, uh, don't be deceived by all this insanity, and don't, don't be a social liberal. I'll just put it out there. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.